everyone! In this video, I will be introducing you to the Edpuzzle extension. Now, Edpuzzle is a website where you can upload and create videos where you can then add questions to check for understanding, trim it, add notes into it, and really create an experience for your students where they can watch the video, but they're also being asked to demonstrate their learning at the same time, or where you can make note of certain things that are really important so they can add those to their notes, um, or just make sure that they're paying attention to those important concepts. So I really want to focus on the extension today, but for those of you that are not familiar with Edpuzzle, Edpuzzle looks like this, and you've got lots of different areas you can go in. This is not my work one, so it has a lot less material in here, but you've got your content, and then you've got your classes. But in search, you can actually see your school, and then you can see all of the different websites that you can get videos from. And if you were to click on one of the videos from Edpuzzle, you can actually see videos that are already created and have questions that are already embedded within this video. Like I said, I really love this for flipping the classroom because I think it's a great way to see if they're understanding that flipped lesson before they come into class the next day. Um, and then if you don't um, like any of the videos that are in the Edpuzzle section, you can also go into YouTube, Khan Academy, and tons of other websites pick a video that you like, and you can go in and start adding your own questions and editing it. But for today, I really wanna focus on the extension because it is a great way to quickly make Edpuzzle videos if you're already on YouTube. So I have this link in the blog post as well as the video on YouTube. So make sure that you have clicked on that and added this extension. It'll show up in the top right as a little puzzle piece and it's really light, so you can almost miss it, but um, it should add up there once you click Add to Chrome. And then go to YouTube and find a video that you want to use. So maybe you have different uh, playlists that you've created, and you're like, you know, this is a video that I want to use, and I'm doing something on problem-based learning, and this video from John Spencer is fantastic. So I want to create a video with Edpuzzle, and I want to edit it. So if I click edit with Edpuzzle, I can go in here and it automatically opens up that video in the edit screen for Edpuzzle. And that is nice because sometimes I feel like on Edpuzzle, when I come in here and look for a YouTube video, I kind of have to search for a while. Whereas sometimes I'm on YouTube already and I find this great video and I'm like, I want to use this right away. Um, but then I have to go search for it again. But this is a great way worth just a click of a button, it automatically opens it up into the edit screen. And then I could come in and I can crop it, I could add an audio track, audio notes, or quizzes. So all I would have to do if I wanted, the quizzes one is honestly the one I pay the most attention to because I usually don't trim it. And since there's usually audio in videos, I don't usually add any other audio, but I could come in and I can create a question. And this question is gonna have nothing to do with the video but oh, maybe I could do one. So I'll just say, what is problem-based learning? And that's an open-ended question that students have to answer. And if I wanted to, I could add more questions as I go throughout. So once I'm done, I can click, make sure it's saved. I can click finish, and then I can add it to a class. I love this pre prevent skipping button because then the students can't skip through the video um, and just go to the questions and answer those. And then I can assign it to that class. And I don't have any students in there, so that's why it doesn't like it. But you can see it shows up right in here as an assignment. So this is a really quick and short tutorial over this Edpuzzle extension, but I really like it because I just think it's so fantastic how you can quickly edit with Edpuzzle. So if you have any questions on this, please let me know and I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.